we've worked many, many months to put on this show, and we're really proud of what we're about to show you, and really excited to have the Drexel community, uh, the Filipino Drexel community, uh, friends and family, and also partners here. Um, so we hope you guys enjoy the show. To get us started, I want to introduce you guys to the forefront of this year's story of the whole Two of my closest friends since freshman year, who I've had the honor of working with very closely this, this year. This, this, uh, this year's co chairs, Jennifer Erdman and Lil Kai.
sauce on them. Is that what I my great great Lola? I know who my great great Lola was. Oh, look who his father was the next to the Leon. There's an even dancer. I'm gonna be just like him. No, Leon, you cannot be doing this. <laughs> Okay, you guys are going to be scared. Please welcome to the next performance. 
You guys are the greatest dancer of all time? Uh, greatest dancer of all time. We're the like, greatest folks of all time. But the dancer? Not so much. You know what you're talking about. So, since you know, we can go straight to Spanish. Not so simple, but your great great grandpa is still upset at me. So we'll have to find another way to this party. I don't know. What did you do, man? It's a long story. Here we are. Every year, there's a town show and the women gets to perform at Dead Elvis, Day of the Dead Theater. I'm just with a competition, and I'll have our invitation in no time. No, I have to prove myself as a dancer. Open those digits for us. That's not a woman, but you know the competition skills. We can go on, right? Yes, it does. 
I want to get Delio's blessing just because I'm a straight or grandson. I want to earn it. Alright, the future of those bones. Make sure to always smile. Try and smile. Good enough. Hey, kid, come on out.
So you also don't go home. I need you to just listen to me. Why should I listen to you? Because, Miguel, I... I do used to love to dance. I know. Huh? Just watch. Dance to be a huge part of my life. I don't believe you. You have to be lying. No, Miguel. I will prove it to you. This is a flashback.
for everything you've done for us. Um, a lot of you guys were my friends when we started, or people I looked up to when I first got to the business. And it's really sad to see you guys go, but we're so excited to see what the world has to offer for you guys. With that said, we have um, people from the general body in your audience to present to you with a little gift.
So please understand. I'm asking you now to catch your life. That's it. Like some of you did. What? Why are you reading this up? It's a scene from one of Delia's most famous movies. It's about two friends who met in childhood, and they became polarizing dance performers in suburb. One day, the friends have a toast, and they affirm that they're friends for life. That's means in birth. However, one of the friends poisoned his partner's drink. That night? Our toast? Ernesto, did you poison me? You don't actually think I killed Hector, do you? 
No, of course not. Everyone knows you're the good guy. Lord Ernesto, my blessing. Security, please take care of Miguel for me. He will be extending his stay in the land of the day. Bucket Ernesto, why? I'm your family. And Hector was my match mate for life. Everything I earned didn't come from free Miguel. Sometimes you need to sacrifice what matters to you the most to get what you want. No! <laughs> Miguel, Miguel! Okay, Calapa? Are you okay? I'm okay, Hector. What about you? Are, are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. <sighs> hey, that's me for love, he says. What a traitor. All this time, I looked up to De Leon for his amazing taking and choreography. All the Filipinos praised him for it and gave him so much fame and credit. But all along, he's just been a lying fraud. And you didn't even get any credit. No fame. No money. The fame, the money, that doesn't even matter to me, Miguel. Because of that joke, I would never be able to cross that bridge to the land of the living ever again. Soon, I will be forgotten. Why do you want to cross the bridge so much? And why is the picture on your permanent altar? Long ago, when I went on tour around the Philippines to dance with it all, I made the decision to leave my family. I just wanted to be a good husband and a good father and earn money to dance so I could provide for them. But I didn't realize that all the traveling would be that I would never get to see them. And when I had enough, I wanted to leave. And on that night, they all killed me and stole my choreography. As soon as I reached the land of the dead and tried to cross on Utah's that year, I realized my companion never put me on the altar. But every year, I try and I try and I hope that someone down the line will place me back on it. But nothing. They've really forgotten me. I died in my family. They probably think I abandoned them. So you want to cross the sea of India again? Yes, my God. All I wanted was even one more chance to see my aunt, my daughter. But because of the hell, I will never see my baby Coco again. Because... I will be forgotten. <sighs> it hurts, Miguel. I just want to see it one last time. Hector, did you say your baby Coco? Yes, why? Hector, what was your wife's name? Marisol, but why are you asking me here? You want to just Hector. You want to love Hector. What are you talking about, Miguel? Your baby Coco is my Lola Coco. Tell you this is my great great grandfather. You are. You mean you are my Domila? Yes, I'm your great great uncle, Lola Hector. And just like you, I love to dance. I thought I was so different from my Domila, but I, I wasn't. Because you were my Domila, and you were the greatest dancer the Philippines has ever seen. I can't believe it. I have an uncle, a grandson. Hello, Hector, are you okay? I don't, I don't think I will make it any further. My daughter Coco is the only one left in the land of the living to remember me. And she is forgiven me. Uncle, save yourself. Find your Lola, Mexico, and your titos and titas. Take your blessing and go back. Tell Coco that the Hector loves her very much. No, 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 we will find a way out. I am hoping for your photo to our Cornelius altar. Please, anyone, help, please help us. It's okay, Miguel. I made a mistake, and now I must face the consequences. Please, just tell me, Lola Coco, that I love you, and I'm very sorry for leaving. 
No! Did someone ask for help? Lola Marisol. Marisol. Miguel! And Hector? Marisol, I can explain. No, I don't want your explanations. The Lola Marisol. Miguel, no. This man left me and your Lola Coco to fend for ourselves. He left us for fame and fortune and never even bothered to return. And now, he drags you into a pit? Result, I'm sorry. You left us, Hector. I cannot forgive you, but unlike you, I will not leave you. Miguel, grab the floor. Your titos, titas, and I will pull you up and Hector one by one. Salamat, Lola Marisol. Thank you. I'm sorry for disobeying you and running away, but we have to save Lola and Hector. I will save you, but I will never forgive you for what you did to me and Coco. Marisol. Please, I'm sorry. Please let me explain. Enough! I live my life without you, raise my child without you, I don't need your lies and excuses. You got like this. End of story. No, 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 sir. No, 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 He was killed by De Leon. He was going to go home to you and Lola Coco, but he poisoned his drink and then stole all his choreography, too. Lola Marisol, please, we have to help Lola Hector. Is this true, Hector? Oh, Marisol, yes, I never want to leave you and Coco, but as a husband of Tante, I needed to provide the best life to you, and I needed to earn money as a dancer to do that. You both deserve the world, but as soon as I realized I could not achieve both goals at the same time, I wanted to come home, to you, and to Coco, but De Leon, he tricked me, and I never made my life back. Please believe me, I never stopped thinking about you and Coco. Many souls, I love you both so much. Hector, I did not know this. I'm sorry I never looked for you when I reached the land of the dead. Mahal, my love, I should have at least asked you why you never came back. No, many so I should be the one to say sorry. I never should have done Do you forgive me? Yes, Hector, I forgive you. Ooh, I'm sweet. Just like what your teenagers is that Hector was courting Marisol before they got married. Ah, um, the good times. They even did that dance together for her debut. I, I remember that. I was standing over so hard every time they danced together. Lola Marisol, Lola Hector, you used to dance together? Could you guys show me this dance? <laughs> dance? I know, Paul Miguel, that was years ago. Don't be silly. We have to get you back to the land of the living. And I haven't danced in ages. I could never. Sing it out, Come on! For her apple, let's show me. I am full, I'm fine.
It's Coco. She's in pain. I remember the little head kid with the nail that he's fading away. What did he mean? Why is that me? Miguel, when you fed the Gucci picture of the open during the dance, it doesn't just let us visit the land of the living. It keeps our baby alive. When there's no one else in the living world who remembers you, you disappear forever. Coco's memory is fading. And so am I. Then, then we have to go back and find the Leon. We have to get his picture so I can put it on the altar. When Lola Hoyko sees it, I'm sure she'll remember you. Lola Marisol, please, we have to help him. Miguel, if we help you get his photo, you will return home. No more dancing. Family comes first. Good. So, how do you get to Daniel? I'm in mean, no way. Follow me. Thanks again for getting us in. Ain't no problem, thanks. We need to look down for each other. Wow, I can't believe that worked twice. Come on, let's head backstage before we start. We have to find the way. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Ernesto de Leon's Mario Fiesta Sunrise Spectacular. Before we get to the main event, let me introduce our opening act. This dance is native to the Pangasinan province. It dates all the way back to pre-colonial times, making this a purely Filipino dance. Please welcome our Sayal Sabaco dancers.
Oh, that was tired. Yeah, can we take like a five minute break? <laughs> Gal is done. We have to get him before Hector starts to disappear. Remember, he has Hector's photo. You got to say, you got to go now. Thank <laughs> you. 
hard work that they've done. We do weekly out-of-town practices that last forever. without our leaders, our wonderful co-chairs, Jen and Lily. Um, so as a little thank you, we got them cards and flowers to show our gratitude for everything we've done. a bright ray of sunshine in our lives for the nine months and it's going to be insane and really sad not seeing everyone every week starting from next week. Um, how do you get to seniors? We're going to miss having you around. Um, but we're really grateful for the experience that we gave everyone here, whether it was their first bar or their second, third, or last. We couldn't have done it without you. So thank you. Yeah, that last dance, it's a party, okay. 